Hello, everybody. Today we're going to see how I draw Alexei Shostakov, the Red Guardian from Marvel's Black Widow. Just so you know, there's a coloring book that you can get through Amazon. Just follow the link in my description and you can get a coloring book to show me how you color to how I draw. Okay, pencils first and then Sharpies. So if you don't want to watch the pencil portion of the video where I sketch the entire thing out, look in the description and you find a link that you can click on that will take you to the Sharpie portion of the video. I'll even include one for color. But for those of you that are going to stick around, I'm going to start off with a quick sketch for myself and get us going. Let's see. All right, so at this point, Black Widow is out. A lot of times when I'm doing drawings, I have to do them ahead of time. So, you know, I don't, I don't know much about the show or where it's at or who was in it. Or, well, you know, I do know who was in it, that kind of thing. But how it did, what it was like, if there's any spoilers and stuff like that. And I think it's been out long enough that it's okay if there's spoilers here. I try not to. I don't want there to be spoilers. But uh, it's been out long enough that... Um, I, I don't want to say you should have too bad for you. You should have. But at this point, yeah. You should have already seen it. Especially if you're here drawing. Like, let's, let's say that it's spoiler time. Not that I'm going to give any spoilers away. I'm just saying I will delete stuff if um, people put spoilers here. But not on this one. This one, it's okay. Not that anybody really talks on these. It's mostly just me, you know. But, uh... Let's see. How do I want to do this? I'm kind of sketching and talking at the same time. So I'm just trying to... Kind of... Come up with a good plan. And, uh... Anyway, so... Where I was going with that is that, uh... Usually... I, I haven't seen the movie, but this time I have. I am all caught up. It was fun. It was fantastic. Sometimes I see some bad reviews, like, oh, it was, uh, well, just a bad review, and I don't get it. What were you expecting? You know, it, it wasn't going to be Endgame. It wasn't going to be one of those. We, we know that, you know? So it is kind of, it's just, it's just frustrating when I see people trying to be negative about it, when it's just, look, it's just a Marvel movie. I've got my complaints, too, sure, but... You know, it's, it wasn't ever going to change the world. It was just going to be the next uh, little vehicle for, you know, a little bit of a story. That's it. You know, what, what more did you expect? But I guess, I guess maybe our expectations were super high, which I get, you know. You gave us really good movies, so that's why everybody's expecting some more over-the-top stuff. But I, like I said, I had no complaints. I, I guess also I already went into it with, I wouldn't say low expectations, but open expectations, you know? I, I guess no expectations, right? I was expectationless. And I guess that's why to me it was like, yeah, it's fine. You know, I got no, no problems with it. Could it have been better? Well, I mean, anything could always be better, right? If you always look at it on that, 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 uh, the state of mind, frame of thought, um, what's the word I'm looking for? State of mind. Technically, everything could be better, right? But yeah, I have no problems with it. So now let's talk about the positive. Uh, it, uh, the Red Guardian was such a good character. I wanted more of him. Much, much, much more. Um, and you know, I will say, I'll give you my one complaint about the movie. And again, it's not bad. It's just uh, this is this is the problem with movies like this. Is I was not afraid for her safety. Like we know she survives, right? We know that uh, you know she's she's going on to 
you know, the Marvel movies and whatnot. So anytime her character was put in any kind of peril, I wasn't afraid for the outcome kind of thing. It's like, yeah, 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 uh, sure. We don't want anybody to be hurt, that kind of thing. Sure, I get it, I get it. But again, you know, it, it, was, it was, yeah, okay, well, we know where this is going. We know she's going to survive, so move on. You know, so again, I hate to be negative like that, but because these other characters, especially like Red Guardian, like I said, because I did start to build a, a, a uh, fondness for them, those characters, Yelena, all those characters, if they would have been in any kind of peril, then it would have been like, oh no, please, please don't let them die. Don't let them, you know what I mean? Um, so, to me, when they do movies like this that that uh, have that kind of stuff, it just makes me think, like, ah, you should have gone with, with uh, the new ones, you know? The more the more possibilities of uh, of loss, and that's just what I'm saying. It's like, yeah, there's no there's no way we're gonna lose uh, Natalie, you know. Sorry, his face came out kind of big, so I'm just trying to redo it real fast. But also, I do have him kind of hunched over. So I just wanted to, uh, you know, just, just recalibrate. But yeah, anyway, I really, really liked his character. And yeah, same thing with uh, Elena's. Uh, I really like that they're moving on to other stuff with them. You know? Okay, where are we? Uh, good, good, good. Let me just kind of come up with the rest of them. I've got them all kind of hunched over in a power fighting stance. But it's funny though, now looking at it, like kind of leaning back and look, he is kind of squished. I do have him a little bit of squished, but I mean, again, it, 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 it's, it's all about the, the pose, like the, the position I have him in. Yeah, I don't really have much more to say besides I liked it. I, I was really happy with it. I haven't watched it again. Uh, I, I, I didn't go to the theater. I played it safe. I got it on uh, Disney Plus. You know, I wanted to support them. Plus, you know, uh, with family watching it, you know, um, uh, you know, my mother, my father, you know, people that want to watch it, it was about the same price as, as if, uh, you know, we all went to the movie theater. So it was definitely worth the price. Like some of those movies, uh, it's not it's not quite me, and I get that you know, it, a it's not made for me, so uh, you know they're not going to get my money. Like, uh, well, you know, I never mind. I'm not going to bag on other movies, you know. But uh, my point is, you know, uh, not all of them, but things like this, yeah, heck yes, heck yes, I'm going to support it. Okay, that's not too bad. I think I am. Re oh, let me do the hand real fast. Let's see. This one I'm going to do. Look about right. Yeah.
good with that. Got a little, a little dark there, but that, I think it's good. So let me erase some of these lines. Uh, what I want to do is I want to, I want my Sharpie to stand out, not my pencil lines. So when I was first throwing lines down, those are just sketch lines. And I'm just throwing lines down, just trying to find the position, the placement, and the proportions. And as I get more confidence with, confident with each one of those, I start pressing harder, right? So when I'm lightly erasing like this, I'm lightly erasing the sketch lines, but I'm not pressing hard enough to erase the confidence line. So we're getting rid of our sketchiness, keeping our confidence, and that's how we're gonna live our life. You'll go far, do amazing things, and I'll be there to celebrate and congratulate you. Sorry if the camera's shaking because <laughs> I'm actually having to press a lot harder than I thought because I, I ended up pressing harder as I was talking. So I think that's enough. I can see where we're gonna go. And uh, I say we welcome all the skippers and get going. Welcome skippers, welcome to the Sharpie portion of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe because I do a different drawing every day. You can join along and have some fun. I'm gonna be using a Sharpie fine point and a Sharpie pen. Mostly the fine point, but the pen's a little finer than the fine point. You can find things that the fine point can't quite find. I have sketched the entire thing out. I've erased a majority of the sketch lines, but left myself enough to see where we're gonna go. And if you wanna see more Marvel stuff, just check out that playlist right there or just do a search in the playlist in general because I do so many drawings that I may have already drawn what you're looking for. So check, if not, give me a shout and I'll see what we can do. I'm gonna jump right in with the Sharpie pen because I can control the line width much better for tiny things like this. And I'm gonna start off with his eyes just to see if I've got him turned and down just slightly like this, right? Just think of it that way, like this, turned and down. So you see how this bigger, smaller, that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna draw one eye or the eyelid like this see if I've got them kind of going in the same yeah looks good to where I want to go now I can't draw as tiny as this gets I can't draw everything so I'm just going to draw some of the major highlights like the uh, retina like this right now for the pupil again it's so tiny I can try to dab just in the center right there but see it's already bleeding because there even I, I hit that part wrong um, so for the bottom of the eye, if I go all the way, it's gonna bleed. So I just like to come back just a little bit like that. And then I'm gonna come back with color and imply the rest of it. Plus the bottom of the, the retina, it kind of implies the bottom of the line, at least with my Sharpies. Now, if you're working with pencil, you go for it. You go ahead and do that, but uh, I, I'm being careful with my lines. All right, so this is where we're gonna get a little tricky here because he's got the opening, right? the socket of the mask. Like this, but now he's got like the brow of the mask, right? Something like that. And it, it does kind of swoop around, but again, I want to do that with color. I'm only doing highlights right now. All right, so his nose, we're gonna say that it's right about here. Right, and the mask kind of goes over too. So I'm going to, um, oh, I got a little bumpy there with the nose. Let's see if I can fix that. So I'm going to draw the mask. There's a lot of things are over each other, so I kind of have to draw them first before I draw everything else, you know? So we're kind of, Kind of playing around with just jumping around on some lines. So sorry if I'm kind of all over the place, but some of this stuff has to be defined first so I could do the rest, right? So also I'm trying to make sure I've got his face looking right. And the mask is gonna come down here. It's gonna, it's gonna strap on like this, something like that. Come around here for his ear. Kind of like uh, Captain America's mask, you know? Never mind. I was gonna have another theory and talk about this stuff, but it's like, ah, he, he, never mind. That's for the sketch portion. Here, we're just gonna let it go. I want to talk about stuff, but I also want to explain to you why I'm drawing these things. All right. So, um, let's see. Again, the the eye socket kind of comes around there, but I want to do that with color. I'm gonna I'm gonna be very careful about the lines I put in. Let me see if I can find a good picture of the mask. Because it does have some really cool lines that I kind of want to capture 
in his face. Like, let's see, there's, there's a seam over here. It connects there. And then it's gonna kinda come up here and do one of these. This has a thing that goes all the way like that, but let's let's get the shape first before we worry about that kind of stuff. So we're almost again like drawing a uh, a Captain America helmet in so many words, right? It's close. Um, do you think he met Captain America? Okay, I know I wasn't going to talk about this. I said I wasn't, but look. He talks about it, and it, it obviously, my friend is like, no, he was hyping himself up. He was boasting in prison, right? But he asks uh, uh, Black Widow, Natalia, he asks her, does he speak about me? Does he, you know, so... So at some point, they had to have crossed paths, right? I mean, again, timeline doesn't work, but I'm sure there's stories that we don't know about, you know? So... Maybe. What do you think? Do you think they cross paths? Do you think they were adversaries? You you tell me in the in the in the links or in the links in the in the comments down there what you think. Alright, I like that. Now I'm going to thicken up some of my outer edges here. And if you already noticed, I was already doing that. The reason I'm doing that is because when I switch over to this Sharpie, you're going to see a huge difference in, in line width. So I'm trying to match uh, where this was going to go in so many words. Sorry, let me find a, a good picture of his beard. Okay, I'm going to kind of exaggerate it a little bit. Because also, I mean, I kind of have to... You know, um... Limit myself in all the lines, because I'm not drawing every single hairline. But I do want to give him an edge, because we're not drawing like that, you know what I mean? So, comically... I'm... I'm... Limiting my lines, but I'm also... Trying to keep it consistent. Plus, you can get a little creative, you know? Get a little artistic with your style. Like there, I'm kind of doing like these hard edges, but I mean... You, you make it your own. So, I think that's good for his face. Let me thicken this up just a little bit. I'm going to switch over to the other Sharpie now. Alright. Again, all the, the highlights and all that stuff, I'm going to do that with color. That's just to capture, you know, the, the edge. Alright, so I've gotten kind of squatted. I'm, I'm doing it like you can see what I'm doing. Hunched. Uh, in a fighting position, so his collar is going to be kind of up like this, going under. That means his neck is going to be going down like that, so you can't really see as much. Um, and now we got to play around with all his uh, straps and things like that. Okay. So I'm going to kind of make it up slash be real. So in other words, I'm going to try to get it like his, but it's not all going to be 100% right. The other part is too, that's a lot to do. And we're not gonna sit here and draw every single line, you know? Um, this has to come down to the star, so I kinda wanna do the star next. I'm gonna say the point goes up there, comes down like that, comes down like this. So we're gonna say the point is under his beard because of the way his head is down uh, on his chest in a, in a, in a, I don't wanna say, a, I guess a fighting stance is the best way to say it. 
Now I've sketched this star out. That's why I can just kind of, kind of like I do with the hands. I sketch it out so I get the shape. Cause see, even in there, it's not perfect. I'm still off um, in, in, in getting the shape right. Oh, you know what? I was going to do extra, but no, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to keep going with um, the design. So this shoulder pad is going to be like this. Same thing, a little triangle. It's just you see more of it because of the way he's turning on this side, and this side is kind of covered up like this by his head, you know? So we're not seeing as much. So you just think of it in that way, and it'll make more sense to you um, as to what you can see and what you can't see. Okay, so his shoulder's here. Strap's coming through like this, but his arm's kind of in the way, so I'm kind of building for that. Um, let's do this arm first, because you always want to draw what's in front. That way, when you draw what's behind, you're not drawing through on accident, right? Since technically he's turned, everything over here is first. So let's do that. Let's draw his shoulder like this. And he does have some, uh, some more cool patterns and designs on his uh, suit. So I just want to kind of highlight a few like that. There's more we'll get to in a second, but uh, that's that's the main one I wanted to do. This one's on his bicep like this, and kind of goes back. It's, what's kind of cool about his material, it's almost like it's, it's wrapped around and strapped on with another piece, but it's still the same piece of, of cloth. You know what I mean? So it's kind of hard to describe, but it's really cool the way they, they they uh, incorporated the, the feel of it. To give it its own unique look, you know? It's really cool. And this is his, his forearm with his straps. Now again, this is cloth, so I'm going to kind of wrinkle up the material, you know? He's got armor and, and things like that, but then it's cloth, so I can kind of wrinkle it just a bit. Now these are these really cool buckles that uh, I'm not 100% I'm not getting right, but they're pretty cool, so I kind of want to get them to look kind of like his. They kind of stand out on the edge, you know? So I just kind of wanted to get a feel for a buckle right there. And then it's got like this, this other end that we're going to say twists. So it's going to go back there like this. I mean, sure it's metal, it doesn't twist, but for the sake of the way we have his hand positioned, I'm going to twist it back like that. Okay. He's in a, his hand is in a fist. So I'm going to just draw his thumb like that. Knuckles, gonna bring his fingers around. Like this. Um, okay, sorry, this one goes like that. Uh, he's got more stuff, like his little you know, protector back here, but uh, you know, there's only so much we're gonna see anyway. Something like that. All right, so now that we have that, again, we can work our way back and uh, draw the rest of, of what I wanted to draw. You know what, I kind of want to do it with a smaller one though. Let's see, if, because the nice thing is, if I don't like this, I can always go back and do it thicker, but I can't go thinner. That's not bad, let's do it over here too. It's kind of like a strap that is accented with a smaller sharpie. And I'm going to wait till I draw the bottom part for that right there. All right. Pretty cool. I like him. This arm is going to be up in the fist, so you can see his shoulder. Let's do. 
let's see okay so the shoulder strap we can see so we're gonna go ahead and come down here and do this we'll see that much of it because again it's kind of back behind his body and that means you can see that much of the strap this one's gonna go there but let's draw the body before we we do that I've got him kind of hunched over in a fighting stance so he's kind of bending at the waist Right? And that's all you can see of that, because again, curving to the other side. All right, so this arm is out. Again, now that we've drawn his body, I can draw his arm tucked behind him. So I'm gonna draw this shoulder like this. Again, a little cool little strappy stuff. Something like that uh, around his bicep, which this, I'm pointing at the picture, this, you can't really see as much on this side because of the way all you're gonna see is the strap, like, right? Because if we're looking at the inside of the bicep, you're gonna see the strap only, and that's it. Okay? And then that's where it connects to that piece of material. But again, we're looking at different sides, so it's a little it's a little different from what you can see. All right, so again, we're gonna do pretty much the same thing on both sides, but just different angles. So this one, because his arm is bent, you're not seeing as much of the arm underneath. We're just gonna do the, just like we did over here, the, the straps going across, the buckle, kind of something like that. And I always do it like this, I always, come back and draw afterwards. Like, I don't know why I didn't just draw the buckle like as part of the strap, you know? But it's okay. All right, so you can see his elbow. We're gonna go ahead and do that. Come in here. Again, material all bunged up. Something like that. Same thing, wrist out to his I'm sorry, arm out to his wrist, right? This hand, you're the same thing, wrist, but you're gonna see in a different position. So we're going to draw the thumb. And again, I've already sketched it out, so that's why I'm just kind of following my design. Come back and add some some detail. And what's funny is I, I know I know I'm not drawing all the detail right, and I'm probably not even drawing the hand right. You know, I'm just kind of getting a feel for the look, and that's fine for me. You know, no one's really going to come back and say that's not right, and if they do, eh, it's okay. You're gonna be able to tell what that is. I'm fine with it. All right, so his belt, uh, he, again, he's hunched over a little bit, so his belt's a little higher. I'm gonna go ahead and just draw it right here just so I know where I am. Or his buckle, I'm sorry. And then build on that. So I'm gonna draw little pieces from where it's put together, like that, so to speak. Just to show that it's, you know, it's got more parts to it. And then he's got his, like everybody does, packs, you know, pouches. It's where he carries his juice box and his ID and, and you know, um, his lunch money. It's always about food with me. I don't know what's going on. No, I know what's going on. I need to eat. It's lunchtime. I'm hungry. <laughs> but we're almost done. Don't worry. I know, we're only halfway there and I'm saying we're almost done. I know. Trust me. The rest of it's going to go fast. Um, his belt. We're just going to do more lines like this just to kind of accent those. Nothing too crazy. I can connect everything now, though. Go ahead and bring this down. Um, I'm going to give him some 
more creases and lines and folds. Just material bends is basically what it is. Just because the, from the, the, the shirt, or you know, I guess not really a shirt, huh? The uh, um, design being pushed. Uh, actually, you know what, let's do this. There is some really cool design to it. I can kind of accent it like this with the way that it's it's uh, put together. And it'll, that'll also show me some, some bends, and creases and folds. that okay so now we're just drawing his legs and again it does have some extra stuff on it so just you know bear with me we're going to bend his leg down like this and to a knee pad let's go ahead and just do that knee pad like this just to give you an idea where we are now it's it's built into his costume but is also accented like a lot of times You know, we see the, the costume with like sewn on armor and things like that. And that's kind of the same thing here. So we're gonna, I'm gonna add a strap right there. Uh, just kind of build that in as well. So same thing, he's got some straps and stuff like that. This one goes to a piece of material like this. back this way All right and then let's go ahead and draw his crotch and some creases here let me add some detail here real fast oops I'm just making that thicker is all I'm doing it's not detail There you go, that's all we need for detail. Um, let's see, so this is gonna kinda come down. I guess I should draw the rest rather than just start drawing the crease lines, huh? So, same thing, straps on this side as well. But that part you can see a little bit more of. So I'm gonna bring down the edge of it here like this, then draw his leg, okay? So that is back there, which means this strap is like this, right? Looks good to me. I want to draw the leg. Let me draw the knee pad. See if I'm comfortable with it. Yeah, now I'm going to build my way back up. Again, I want to draw some of that accent like where it's attached. this now remember we're looking at the front view as opposed to the side so that's why I'm just kind of doing that so now let's build it back this way and now see I decided I wanted the leg out a little bit further so now I'm just gonna kind of build where that's gonna be and build back up here to his crotch but what I did was I didn't let this line determine where the line was gonna be it felt more natural to me down there so never let your past dictate your future you are in control you are the dreamers of the dream. You are the makers of the magic. All right. Okay. Let me clean some of this up. Let me add some of that, that magic here. It's gonna come down here. We're almost done. We're pretty much just gonna draw boots and that's it. So kind of like that is what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna come down here with the material, close it off, gonna add one, two little bumps like that, come around, same thing, and do that. So we're almost kind of doing like that, like an extra little layer, okay? I'll come back and add detail in a second. Let's just go ahead and finish this up. 
down here for the boot. And it's kind of got this covering over the boot, right? There we go. Let's go ahead and just do the whole thing, then come back and do some detail. That way we know where we are. You know what, let's go ahead and do this. Like that, okay? So same thing, material down. I don't know why I do it like this as opposed to just drawing that and then doing another one underneath. For some strange reason, this feels more natural to me. So I get it. I get it if it's strange that I do it like that. So sorry, but remember, this is how I draw. Let's add some detail. And then we're done. Again, some creases on the cloth. This is some kind of buckle thing. I mean, I say it like that, like I don't know what a buckle is, you know? This is some kind of strange buckle. You know, <laughs> it's a buckle. Let's just say that, you know? I don't know why I keep saying it like, I don't know like a strange buckle thing. It's a it's a buckle on his strap is what that is. Right? That that simple. All right. So, just do the front of the shoe here. But there you go. I say we take care of the rest with color. So that is the Red Guardian from Black Widow. So here's how I colored it. Tell me what you think in the comments below or show me what you did in our Discord group. Just have fun and make it your own because remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw and we'll meet somewhere in between. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures of how I draw. Plus, don't forget to hit that notification button for new videos.